In this video, I am going to introduce you to the concept of using Blade in Laravel, a templating engine to design unique layouts. When it comes to comparing it with another template engines, Blade has its own unique ways. It does not restrict the developer from using plain PHP code in the view. The Blade views designed in this way are compiled and cached until they are changed. Now let me show you how we can create a Blade file that can display dynamic data to the page. For that, I'm going to use the welcome blade file that is already created in Laravel, which is this page here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all of that. And then I will head over to the file where the routes are stored. Inside there, we have a normal route that will return the blade file welcome once the given URI is executed. Additionally, I will pass a variable to the route called name and I will set it equal to something. To do that in Laravel, we will wrap it inside square brackets and I will call the variable name and I will set it equal to Jeffrey, let's say. So we have to save this and now we'll head over to the welcome blade file and inside here, I'm going to write hello and then I'm going to add the variable name that we passed in the route inside curly brackets. So what I am doing is basically I am getting the variable that we passed before inside the route, which is name, and I am printing it here inside the blade file. To do that, I have to wrap it inside the so-called echo statements, which allows us to display data and to use PHP logic. So now that I have done that, I will head over to the web app and then I'm going to test it. As you can see, we're getting hello Jeffrey. But what we are getting is something that is a static name that we have applied inside the route. Instead, we want something dynamic that the user can choose. So to do that, we have to go inside the route. And inside here, I will have to add a parameter name inside the URI. And then I will have to add a parameter name variable inside the function and I'm going to replace this value to the name variable. So now if we test it, inside the URI, I'm going to write something like Jarvis. As you can see, we're getting hello Jarvis. If I would write something else, like for example, Thomas, then we will get hello Thomas back. So basically we are getting the variable, the value that the user types in the URI. Now there are also other ways to use blade files, like for example, we could echo the result of any PHP function inside the echo statements. Like for example, we could use a PHP function to get the current time back. So first I'm going to type current time is, and inside the curly brackets, I am going to add the function. So it's going to be the date function and inside the date I'm going to write the the time format that I'm going to use so it's going to be HIS which is going to print the current hour minutes and the seconds and then followed by the time method so if we go inside the app and refresh the page as you can see we're getting the current time right after the current time is phrase now, there are also other ways to add plain PHP code, like for example, we can use the normal PHP brackets. So inside it, I'm going to declare a variable called for, and I'm going to set it equal to, a, to 2 plus 2, and I'm going to echo 4 out, like this. And if we head over to the web app, you can see we're getting the for, which is the value of two plus two. We can also use the for each loop to return values from arrays. So I'm gonna delete all of that and I'm going to create a new one. And inside here, I'm gonna create an array called cars and I will set it equal to array of car brands. So the first one is going to be Mercedes and the second one is going to be Opel, and the third one is going to be BMW. So once we have created the array, I'm going to create a for each loop over this array. To create a for each loop over this array, we need to add the add sign and followed by the for each. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add for each cars as car. And inside the for each, I'm gonna add a simple list element to list the car values and inside the list element i'm going to add the variable car 
which is going to hold the value of every card that we have added inside the array. And I'm going to add the for each with the end for each keyword. And once we are done, we'll need to head over to the web app and I'm going to refresh it. As you can see, we're getting every car inside the array listed. So this is how we can use Blade Template Engine in Laravel. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys would learn something from it. Leave a like and a subscribe if yes, and see you next time.